What's up guys, before we start this video, I just want to apologize for the quality of this video. Um, I have to record this on the webcam of my laptop, basically because I came here, forgot to bring my camera, Archie is busy, so I'm the only one who's going to be able to film today, and I don't have my camera, so fortunately for today's video, it's going to be on the webcam, so not the best quality, but you know, still got to get the video out to you guys, because we are not about to miss a day, so let's get on with the video. What is up everybody? Welcome back to Sneak Attack. Today, we got a brand new episode of Cop for Drop. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any videos. We upload three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any videos. Make sure you click the link up above, and enter the NMD giveaway. It'll end at 2,000 subscribers. So if you guys are familiar with our channel, you know that we do a series called Cash Out where we talk about upcoming sneaker releases and we tell you guys our thoughts on it and whether we think we're gonna cop it or not. So this series is gonna be pretty similar to that, but a little bit different. Uh, it's gonna be a, little, a lot shorter than Cash Out because we're not gonna do it by month. Basically, I'm gonna do it like every once in a while when there's like a couple sneakers I like or like a couple hot sneakers that are coming out. And we're gonna keep it a little bit shorter than Cash Out and just a new little type of video series I wanted to try out called Copper Drop. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video and get into the first sneaker that we're gonna talk about. The first sneaker that I wanna talk about is a sneaker that's been on my eye for a long time and it's the Suede Jordan 5. So you guys already pretty much know what a Suede Jordan 5 is. I'm gonna have a picture of it right here if you guys don't know. So, you know, it's your typical Jordan 5, high cut. You get the 3M on the tongue and obviously the big part of it is that the whole upper is red suede, and also the midsole is red. So a lot of people were comparing it to the Raging Bull 5s, but in my opinion, these look a lot better. Um, quality on it isn't the best, because I have seen that at the store. I think it's a pretty cool shoe. Yeah, after seeing it at the store, I thought it was cool. A really interesting shoe. I mean, I'm a sucker for all red, because red is my favorite color. Yeah, like I said, this series isn't gonna be too long. Gonna give you a little rundown of the shoe. Basically tell you whether I'd cop or I'm gonna drop. Without further ado, Cop. I would definitely cop this shoe even though the quality isn't the best. It's just like the all red colorway is super dope I just think it looks super cool Jordan 5s are definitely one of my favorite Jordans So yeah, also Jordan 5s are pretty comfortable too I have a pair of 5 low Neymars and it's my only pair of 5s and they're I mean my feet don't hurt when I wear them So Jordan 5 all red suede upper is just really loud. I love loud shoes. So Yeah, I definitely cop this shoe. Hopefully they go on sale and yeah Move on to the next shoe. So the next shoe that we are going to talk about is the Adidas EQT 9317 in the black and white glitch colorway. These EQT 9317s drop on July 8th of 2017 and they're going to retail for $180. So the EQT 9317 is a pretty new shoe to the market. Um, a lot of people like it. It has tons and tons of boost. The boost is like unreal on that shoe. It's super soft. There's just so much of it. People, some people say it's more comfortable than Ultra Boost. I think it's up there, but not as comfortable. But I mean, it's really, really comfortable. They came out with a bunch of cool colorways of it, and this one is like a black and white with like a glitch upper. I'm pretty sure these are prime knit. Some people say they're not prime knit. I'm almost certain that they are prime knit, but don't take my word for it. I don't know. I mean, it feels like prime knit to me, so it's it's comfortable. That's all that really matters. The EQT is a super cool shoe, super comfortable. Would I cop or would I drop? And honestly, I'm gonna say drop. And I only say drop because the glitch colorway on these, I mean, honestly, I'm not feeling it too much. It almost looks like those fake Yeezys that you see at the mall with the light up soles. It seems like Adidas does that a lot with like their shoes. They make them look like that. I don't know why they would do that because it just, I don't know, it's not a cool looking pattern in my opinion, like the glitch pattern on here. I would rather have just like an all black upper like the, like the leather ones they released earlier, the build leather, or like the OGs or like the white ones. Glitch, I'm just not feeling the glitch to be honest. So. That's the only reason why I would drop. So the next shoe we're gonna talk about and the very last shoe we're gonna talk about is another really hyped up Adidas and it's the Ultra Boost Nemesis 17 Tango in the triple black colorway. This sneaker releases on July 6th of 2017 and they're gonna retail for $200. So this name is really complicated. I might've got some of the words mixed up, but you guys know what I'm saying. Picture of it right over here. So yeah, moving on to this shoe. This is like a really, really unique looking shoe. It's based off a soccer shoe, which is what Adidas has been doing a lot. They've been taking a lot of their popular soccer shoes and they've been throwing an Ultra Boost sole on it and then calling it an Ultra Boost like collab, I guess you could say, with the soccer shoe. The Nemesis Tango is like, it looks like there's these like bands going around, like these like almost looks like elastic bands going around it. There's no laces, it's a slip on shoe. It's a really, really unique looking shoe. It's kind of like hard to explain, but the upper is really, really unique. There's like, looks like there's a lot of like elastic uh, bands, like linear stuff going on. It's a triple black colorway, so you have black boost, black upper, 
And yeah, I mean, there's not really much more to say about the colorway. It's a super sick shoe. Uh, the last one they released, it was like a black and white one, mostly white. That one sold out like crazy, and um, I don't know how much they resell for, but they're pretty hyped as far as I remember. From what I've heard from a lot of people, they're hit and miss on whether you like, you like them or not. Uh, I'm just gonna say it's like a unique shoe, but I'm here to tell you guys if I would cop or if I would drop. And I would have to say that I would definitely cop this shoe. And I would say I would cop it because there is no other shoe that looks like that. I love having shoes that like, there's nothing else that looks like it. Cause there's some shoes that are like, they look like other shoes or there's like similar shoes to it. There's literally no other shoe that looks like a Nemesis shoe with an Ultra Boost sole in it. So it's super sick. Obviously triple black, you can't go wrong. Like, you know it's gonna be comfortable. You know it's gonna look sick triple black. So in my opinion, these are a cop. And yeah, these are just super cool. Hopefully I'll be able to get my hands on them. I'm sure they're gonna be super limited. So I'm probably gonna take fat L, but yeah, they're super cool. So I definitely cop. So anyways guys, that's pretty much gonna wrap up the first episode of Cop or Drop. Hopefully the video isn't too long. I wanted to keep this series a little bit shorter than Cash Out. So yeah, make sure you leave a comment down below if you liked it. This is gonna be the end of the video. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe because we post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So subscribe so you don't miss any videos. And with that being said guys, I'll catch you guys later.